Hi. Happy Honk Mini. Happy Honk Mini, everyone. How are we doing? Are we having a good day? Are we having a good day? <laughs> the chat is just full of me saying hello. Happy Hog Mini. Uh, Hog Mini is like New Year's Eve, but cooler, Sam. You got it. You got it. You, got, you exactly got it. But yeah. Happy Hog Mini. Let me zoom out a bit so I can see everyone. Boop, boop, boop. Step back. Katie, my friend Katie. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's me. It's your friend Katie. Hi, Riley. Hello and welcome, honkers. So, since it's Hogmanay, I figured. I figured. I should. I should. I should. I should appreciate the occasion. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Zoom in. Figured. I should appreciate the occasion. Right? I think I think I should. Okay. Good, good. We're all in agreement. Perfect. Perfect. Everyone's in agreement. Nobody's dissenting. Right, that's what I'm hearing here. And that honestly is all I need. So let me quickly just turn off the music okay okay right now of course there's only one song that i should be playing right now oh wait am i lagging no no i'm not allowed to lag god damn it <laughs> no 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 don't lag don't lag don't lag am, am i back oh. am i back <laughs> of all the times to lag. Oh, my internet just... Yeah, my internet signal is low suddenly. Shoddy got low, 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 low. Apple bottom jeans and the boots with the fur. It's not one drive of actually pause that. Promise. Could be Epic Games, maybe? Oh, Epic Games. Yes. It's Epic Games. I've killed it. I've killed it. Okay, okay, I've killed the menace Epic Games. You see, I'm playing Hades today for the first time in a while. Let me, hang on, let me get, let me de kazoo for a second. Ah, uh, uh, hang on, let me, let me, pleh, pleh, pleh. So, yeah, we're playing Hades for a second. Boob kazoo. Um, which... Uh, made Epic go, hey, you find you finally opened me. It's been it's been so long. How about I update everything? Yep, yep. Thank you for the one drive reminder, Epic. Yeah, it's like, oh my god, it's been so long since I've seen you. Did you know we've got the game Ghost Runner free right now? Did you know we also have a thing where if you buy Alan Wake two, you get Alan Wake one remaster free? And Katie's very tempted by it because she enjoyed Alan Wake one, but hasn't played it in ages and never finished it. But maybe she could finish it if she plays it on stream. That last part might just be me. Yeah, the kazoo gets started. Okay, okay. Well, everyone's back now. I've told off Epic Games. I've told off Epic Games. Let's give it one more go. I don't have I don't have many pockets in this outfit, Cal. I'm doing my best with, with what I've got. All my pockets are off camera, and that basically makes them non-existent. I still never played Hades. Oh, it's so good! It's so good. I really recommend it. But first, okay, okay, here in this void without music, I must. I do not hear an onk onk. Oh no. Oh no! Is the onk onk not working? Weird, because everything else seems to be. When I see someone again for the first time in a while, I also like to get the updates out of the way first. You know, that's fair and very reasonable. And I should have given Epic Games more credit for that. I've not seen you for ages. Got any new bug fixes? Yeah, I fixed the issue where I... If you, if you look at me, I despawn. <laughs> I heard it. Um, you heard the honk honk. I think Dave's talking about the onk onk, which is an entirely different redeem. <laughs> the honk honk's definitely working. Everyone's been hearing the honk honk. I've not heard the onk onk. <laughs> oh my, we're menaces. I'm menaces. That one was my suggestion. I'm like, I need an onk onk redeem to go with the honk honk redeem. 
So this is a problem that I created. But anyway, 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 I feel like all this onking and honking and honking is distracting from the real purpose here. <laughs> no, your bugs have to remain broken for the time being. Oh, that's tragic. There's, the the developers given up on on that on that game. <laughs> that was darker than I meant. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. No running, no running, no running. Hang on, let me do an angry face. No running from the kazoo. Wait, that's not it. Oh no, I just closed my windows. No running. No running from the kazoo. I got sidetracked playing games while listening to music last night, so I didn't get much sleep. Me neither! But not because of games, I just couldn't sleep. But however, it's Hogmanay now, so technically we were prepared. We were putting the work in. We were getting prepared. It's all good. It's all good. It's just, it's just preparedness. All right. Okay. Fuck, I, I got two lines in and I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. I, I can't. Can I do it? Can I do it? It sounds so bad. I suspect Katie needs to update Trigger Fire. Um, I mean, Trigger Fire is definitely on the screen. Let me do a quick refresh. I did do the refresh earlier when you said. But I'll do the quick refresh for the sake of the precious onk onk. Okay, the cache has been refreshed. The cat has not been refreshed. I've been up for 40 minutes and I'm ready to go back to EP Town. Relatable. Relatable, honestly. I'm just EP all the time these days. Move over, Phil and Ali. Case coming from your place in the boosty. I don't know who that is. I'm out of touch. I'm sorry. Are they cool though? Ooh, I wonder who's going to be doing Hong Kong. That was the Hong Kong. Sorry, Hong Kong. I need to pronounce my H's. Hong Kong, Hong, Hong. I'm Gusterian from Baldur's Gate. <laughs> Take your meds, gamers, and talk to your dogs. That's true. <laughs> Take your meds, gamers. Oh, wait, is that because we're sleepy all the time? I mean, I, for me, I think it's just a constant struggle of being alive and also being alive on neurodiverse. The, the musicians are always in the BBC's Hogmanay programme. You know, last year... Okay, oh, we're getting distracted talking about Hogmanay, but that's okay. I, I can do that. Last year, I really enjoyed the the show with the darkness and Sam Ryder. Honk. Honk! I heard that one. Who the fuck was that? Wait, was that, was that Gusterian? Was that the Gusterian? Or am I just assuming everything is Asterian now? <laughs> oh my goodness. But I really enjoyed the, the Justin um, from the Darkness thing. Oh, gonk. Oh, gonk, that's me! I heard that one, that's me! With the darkness, did you forget to turn the TV on? <laughs> Maybe. No, no. It was it was that 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 lovely chappy Justin Hawkins from Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Again. On the YouTubes, don't you know? I bloody love the darkness too. And I loved it because I got to see like a little bit behind the scenes with his YouTube videos afterwards when he was like, oh yes, we definitely recorded it on New Year's Eve. We were definitely in the studio recording it. Definitely not at home. And that made me happy because I never liked the thought of all these lovely people having to actually be out on New Year's Eve recording these things. I know what you're thinking, Katie. Did you really not consider that these things weren't recorded live? Look, I'm very easily convinced, okay? Who's the goose that's on the loose? Gusterian. Where's your sandwiches? Where are they gone? Gusterian. I probably got the tune wrong. But I did my best. Yes, yeah, so I need to see who's performing tonight. Because obviously it's got to be one of the Scottish channels. Though I don't think actually the Darkness one wasn't the Scottish one. That was the English one last time. And it was better than the Scottish show. Usually I swear by the Hogmanay performances. But last year, eh. Eh. No Pete and Diesel, you know? If there's no Pete and Diesel, then really, what's the point? You can't have a Hogmanay without Pete and Diesel. You know? <laughs> or at least somebody from the islands, so I can phone my mum and be like, Look! It's him from the islands! 
Wait, the word gullible's written on the other side of my desk. Where? Oh, I can't see it. I've just got plugs down here. I really shouldn't look down there because one of these days I'm going to get jump scared by a spider. What is Gusterian? It's uh, the goose form of Asterian, As Asterian, the the very dapper vampire from Baldur's Gate. A meme circulated of him being a goose and choosing chaos, being the goose from Untitled Goose Game. And the voice actor, who is an absolute chad, decides to take this and run with it. I've completed my difficulty four run on dead cells. I've not completed any runs with dead cells. You're way ahead of me. I thought you left to check since you sound like you're on the other side of the room. I... what? A what? I'm here. I'm here. I'm right here. I'm right here next to the microphone. Hello. Hello, microphone. Kathleen McGuinness, I know her. Yes. Susan Boyle, she's Scottish. Man, fucking love Susan Boyle. Have I not seen this meme at all? <gasps> Somebody head to the Sambians Discord and fill up that with, with uh, Gusterian memes. We need that. We need that. The Sambians Discord needs more Gusterian. Also, if you're not already on the Sambians Discord, go there. Because Sam posted a selfie recently and everyone needs to tell him he's cute. Because he's cute. You looked great, buddy. You looked amazing. This isn't me trying to embarrass you. That would be extremely coward cowardly being like, oh, look, you have a flesh face when I, a coward, refuse to acknowledge having a flesh face. I just thought it was a great photo. Swaybo! <laughs> Susan Boyle! I think Dave's device that he's watching the stream on is broken. Honestly, yeah, that fits. Thank you. Yeah, that, that does seem like Dave. But 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 I feel like everyone's procrastinating on the kazoo here. And we can't have that. So now's the part where I need to try and get through old Lang Syne on kazoo without dying of laughter. Because it sounds ridiculous. I love this song. This is painful to me. I hope you know this. I hope you know that I'm hurting. Imagine having a flesh face could not be me. Oh my god! <laughs> like, like the kazoo's moving. <laughs> okay, I'm going to leave it like that because that's hilarious to me. I'm going to leave the balancing kazoo just bouncing off my lip. <laughs> I don't know how I'm doing this. I have no idea what what is triggering this. That's that's not how pinned objects are supposed to work. How how does it know I'm breathing on it? What the heck? This isn't a feature. That's not a feature in YouTube Studio. What am I? How? What? 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 I think it's just, just a, a convenient lining up of the physics. How's it doing that? I'm fascinated. Sorry, this is now. Katie tries to figure out why why the thing is doing the thing. Time. Katie, she Bethesda edition. Yeah, it's me. Let's talk more kazoo. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Is it stuck to your tongue? Um, I, I feel like I shouldn't be pulling these faces on stream to try and figure that out. Hang on, let me get my tongue out. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. It's a mystery. Okay. Anyway, anyway, I have a, I have a traditional Scottish song to butcher for you all, and I need to try and do this and not stop kazooing when it's stupid, which is going to be the whole time. All right. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
That's a dance remix. No, that's that, that note's wrong. Dance remix. signing it with my magical dancing to kazoo i don't have trombone charm i should get it i'd be I'm, i'd be terrible at it it's basically a rhythm game and my rhythm is about as good as my kazooing <laughs> my amazing dancing blowable kazoo <laughs> Like cries tears of scottish joy are you sure there's not just tears of scottish pain Old Lang Syne's a banger. You can't go wrong with Old Lang Syne. Even when I'm butchering it, it's still it's still great. You can't beat it. You can't beat it. Oh, the dancing emote. Thank you. Well, there we go. There is your New Year's Eve kazoo because I've been remiss on the kazooing. And I feel terrible about that. I've been recovering from the illness, so I haven't been able to do my usual kazoo solos. So, a kazoo for you. There we go. Beautiful, such an amazing cover. I think it will go down in the history books. <laughs> oh, but yes, Happy New Year's, everyone. How are you doing? Are you up to anything nice? I really appreciate everyone showing up to the stream on this day of the New Year's thing when you could be out partying. Oh, let me turn the music on. That's the wrong music. This is the music. No worries, dear Geek Place, no worries. Yeah, obviously, if anyone needs to AFK to go see family, friends, do New Year's stuff, stuff, don't worry about it at all. I am very much flattered that anyone is showing up at all on this, the day of the socials. Because it's good to have company, because your cat is staying at home tonight, because a certain member of the cat family is expecting a wee one soon, so this cat is on standby to maybe have to drive to the hospital should a baby decide to make a New Year's appearance. It's not likely. Her due date's not for a couple of weeks yet, but <laughs> you, babies, you know, you can't trust them. You cannot trust babies. They cannot be predicted. <laughs> Puppy photos in Discord. On this, a New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah. Puppy photos in Discord, wait, what? Puppy photos in description. It's Dave. It's Dave. Dave's Praganant. Congrats, Dave. He's Praganant with a new puppy. <laughs> the, the the lore in the chat is getting insane already, and we're not even into the drinking part of the evening. <laughs> like Dave, Dave got pregnant, and and that, that, there's a puppy. <laughs> it needs to be out and be social when you have, we have Dave. That's true. That's true. It needs to be out and be social when we've got Discord. And Twitch. But yeah, I am genuinely very thrilled to see so many people here. I super duper appreciate it. I hope you're having a great day. I am Parganant. You're Praganant. You're Pregante. Oh, drinking. Good idea. Aye, aye. Says the, says the one of you who doesn't do any driving around here. Aye, aye. You're like, oh, drinking. That sounds great. I'm going to go do that because I have no responsibilities other than being an excellent moderator and video editor. Go have a drink, moderator Dave. <laughs> I'm sorry Dusky got your Dave Gregnan with puppies. Oh. Honestly, I should have known with Dusky. <laughs> Not well, Grognant. No, Dave. Don't drink when Grognant. You cannot drink when Pregante. I have a mischievous plan for when the Kazoo Redeem returns. I will look forward to that. It'll definitely be turned on the next stream, I think. I'm feeling, feeling much stronger now. 
after being down with the sickness. Ooh, wah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, there is a little New Year's message TikTok and short planned. Moderator Dave, is it currently out? Did it get released on Twitter when I was getting prepared and I didn't see it? Or is it out after this stream? When's it planned to come out? I should have asked you this before stream like a professional cat, but I didn't. I could not be that professional. But I did record a little Happy New Year's message for folks because I love you all. And <laughs> yeah, it took a surprising amount out of me because I was like, do I be cheerful? Oh, it's going out at midnight. Okay. I was like, do I be cheerful or do I be honest? And I lean more towards honest. Well, since you lovely folks have done me the favor of turning up, I will kind of give you a little preview of it. Because, you know, this year has been a bit of a, a busy one for me and kind of a rough one at points. There's been a lot going on and uh, a lot that I wish wasn't going on. So it's not been a fully like, woo, best year ever for me, as, as very few years are. But, you know, we made it through, we survived, and I'm proud of that. Though I, like many of you, I'm sure I'm forever guilty of focusing on the negatives and beating myself up for all the things I didn't achieve this year rather than all the things I did. Because, you know, we achieved a lot this year. We got some really exciting stuff done. But my brain's just like, no, focus on all your failures. Focus on all of the failures, all the things you haven't achieved. No positive thoughts, only the bad thoughts. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it, it sure does like doing that. Um, which really sucks because, you know, the main thing this year is I survived. Like, I could do absolutely fucking nothing else this year. And as long as I survived, that's an achievement. Job done. Good job me. Pat on the back. So I'm going to try next year to be a little easier on myself, a little more proud of myself for just making it through things rather than trying to meet all these lofty goals. I say that now. We'll see. You know, it could all, I could immediately fuck this up. It's me. I could, I could immediately get this wrong. Such things could happen. I forgot that my egg's on my head. I need to take it off. <laughs> I'd say you should have had a New Year's resolution like my 2023 one, but I didn't win a single giveaway. Giveaways are getting really hard to win these days. Honestly. Giveaways are becoming the great unreachable at this point. It's just it's just mad how difficult they are. Sorry, my fishnet my fishnets flew away, but I put them back on. <laughs> While trying, in the process of, of like hiding my egg, I managed to take off my top and put it back in before anyone saw. Magical. <laughs> Why are you sitting on the floor? Tell them what you put in your mouth yesterday. Who wants to know what I put in my mouth yesterday? Everyone? Great. Okay, okay, okay. Ham and pineapple pizza. And you know what? It was actually fucking good. I would absolutely have more of that. It was amazing. It was amazing. Everyone try ham and pineapple pizza. It's like pizza, but it's sweet. And that sounds disgusting, but trust me, it's amazing. It's so good. It's so good. It's so good. I am converted to the ham and pineapple pizza gang, and you are welcome to just leave the chat immediately in horror. <laughs> Was it a kazoo? Oh, it should have been. <laughs> Riley says, oh my god. <laughs> but Riley, it's a, it's delicious. It's delicious. My only complaint was of the one I got. They kind of, they were kind of sparing with the pineapple and I wanted more. That pizza needed to be at least 50-50 ham pineapple. None of this, none of this sparing bullshit. Don't make it an accent. Make it more. More pizza. You heard me, pizza. You heard me. I'm part of the pineapple gang now. <laughs> that's fair. If it's not for you, that's totally fair. But if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. Because I was just like, no, that sounds weird. I'm not going to try it. Which has been a constant <laughs> tripping point in many points of my life. Like how I looked at mince pies and went, that sounds weird. Why would I want a sweet pie with beef mince in it? And then I didn't try it until I did. And I was like, holy shit. <gasps> It's amazing! I have regrets! I have so many regrets! And, you know, the same thing happened with cream cheese because I'm like, why would people put cheese in a cake? The same thing also happened with cheesecake for related reasons. I'm like, why would people put cheese in a cake? And I tried it, I'm like, holy shit, cheesecake's amazing. And somebody was like, salmon and cream cheese, and I'm like, why would I want that? But then I tried it. Amazing! 
take chances. Turns out food is fucking delicious. That's what I'm going, going for here. Food is amazing. Try new things. If you haven't tried haggis, by the way, try haggis. Like, I like, I, whenever anyone comes to visit Scotland, I have to force them to eat haggis because it's amazing. And once you try it, it's so good. I saw an American explain it recently as being like, yeah, it's kind of gross when you think about it, but then so are sausages. And I was like, yeah, exactly. You get it. You get it. Everything is gross if you think about it. Don't think about it. We are all meat skeletons just trying to survive. You need even the fae of us. Cheesecake is so good and so refreshing. One of the podcasts I've been listening to, um, they keep talking about strawberry shortcake, which is like nearly impossible to find in the UK. So right now I have a major strawberry shortcake craving and no way to satiate it. I don't even think I can get in the supermarket, so I think I might just have to... Well, I'm not going to make it myself, that's too much effort, I'm too lazy for that. I'm, I'm just going to have to wait until it shows up in my path in the year 2024. I liked pineapple and pizza as a kid, but now I'm older, it's too sweet for me. That's fair. <laughs> no, Cal, I see you. I'm not going to make it. That sounds like way too much effort. <laughs> see, I would have turned my nose up to anything sweet on pizza as a kid. I was like fully pepperoni, whereas these days I'm not that into pepperoni. It's just too oily and too much. I, I, like, I like chicken on pizza now. Chicken and cheese is a bit lighter than just red meat and more red meat. And yeah, pineapple, amazing. Honey, surprisingly good as well. That does seem like how it will go, Dave, make it. No! No! No, I need to find some little, like, boutique Japanese shop in the middle of, like, rural Scotland somehow. Don't ask me how, I haven't followed through. It might be a dream. <laughs> and, um, like, have some strawberry shortcake. I had a dream last night about, oh, hotels. Hotels and... I mean, I, so many of my dreams lately are stress dreams about not checking out on in time. Or having to carry heavy bags. What does that mean? Does that mean I'm traveling too much? <laughs> it, might, it might mean that. Honestly though, I feel like worrying about checking out on time is a very valid stress dream just for me in general. But the thing is, in real life, I'm that fucker who's like five minutes to the checkout time. Like, that's ah, fine. Because I stay in hotel chains, obviously I wouldn't do that in an Airbnb because it's a bit higher stakes there. But in a, in a chain, I'm like five minutes to check out. I'm like, ah, it's fine. I can, I can saunter leisurely down. <laughs> the heavy bags are symbolic of the pregante. Dave's pregante. The dreams pursue it. Pers foresaw it. I was gonna say that I still haven't got a single game on my PC, but now I'm prepared to kill. Don't kill. No kill. Oh, this is like useful for the game. No, pizza! Pizza, have you tried it though, or are you just against it on principle? Because if you haven't tried it, you've got to. Make that your 2024 thing, you've got to try. you got to branch out and try all the pizza toppings. Also, have you ever, ha ever had egg on pizza? Also, have you had haggis on pizza? Haggis on pizza is so good. And pizza, you're lucky to be in the part of the world where you can easily obtain it. Whereas it's harder to get elsewhere in the world. I first, when I was in Glasgow at the... Uh, Beerhalla, which is an amazing place in Glasgow that specializes in big steins of beer and pizza and hot dogs. It's German, it, you can tell by the name. Um, and they had a haggis and egg pizza and it was so good. It's not on their menu anymore and I wish it was. Take me back to Beerhalla. I don't eat fruit pizza, no! You need your vitamins! You need your vitamins, pizza! I've had egg on pizza, it's not bad, but it pretty consistently upsets my tummy. Oh no! She says, refusing to order the pineapple. I mean, yeah, that's fair. The the, pregan the pregante Dave did have to order the ham and pineapple pizza for me. But you know, he's pregante, so it was probably a craving in disguise. <laughs> oh no! Our poor pregante moderator Dave. <laughs> but yeah, this year has been all over the shop, um, but, you know, we made it through and that's, uh, the, that is what I was trying to get to before I got really distracted there by peace. <laughs> um, so yeah, this next year, this year, 2024, this year coming, I want to be proud of my, more proud of myself for making it through all the challenges and hard times and less kind of beating myself up and being like, rah, rah, capitalism, do your goals. And that's my wish for the year ahead for you folks as well, that in the face of challenges, you'll keep going. 
that you'll treat yourself with grace and gentleness and be proud of yourself for all the effort it takes to keep going. You're doing wonderfully, kittens. So keep it up, okay? <laughs> no, Riley, that's not, that's not treating yourself with grace and gentleness. Riley says, your girl almost accidentally shoved her hand to the ceiling fan. Do not do that, Riley. That's a terrible idea. Also, why does your ceiling fan not have a cover? Is it one of those like like bare blade ones? Obake says, I think we all do next year. Just got to tackle it one day at a time. Exactly, exactly. Because I mean, it's great to be all like, oh, next year will be better. And I hope for all of us it will be. Um, I hope that there are many exciting things ahead of you. But let's not kid ourselves. There's going to be challenges as well. There's going to be difficulties. That is part of existing on this planet. And it is part of time passing. So, you know, it's not always going to be plain sailing, but I hope you all get through it smoothly. And feel free to come here and tell me all about it. I think your New Year's resolution should be shorter. <laughs> that is a pretty long New Year's resolution. I want to stick my hand inside a ceiling fan. <laughs> I'm going to check the Luigi board to see what I should call my child. Luigi! The, 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 the Luigi board just comes back with Wario. Wario. Call the child Wario. <laughs> oh. When can I get the chocolate and banana pizza? I've never tried that one. Because... So the thing with chocolate and banana pizza is that usually if a place does it, they also do proper Italian desserts, and I'm a sucker for Italian desserts. No, I meant if she was reaching up and getting her hands cut off by a ceiling fan, she's too tall. Maybe she was standing on the bed. <laughs> like, there's a ceiling fan in my bedroom, and you know, there's always a slight fear of it falling down, even though it's very lightweight and would not kill me. But you know, the fear is there. I don't eat fruit because the first time I tried banana, it was so disgusting that it permanently put me off fruit. Oh, but banana's awesome. It's full of potassium. It stops you getting light cramps. And light cramps are, are hell. And what about apples? Apples are nice. Fruits are so many different flavors. That is only one fruit out of so many to try. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> pizza, that's fair. I'm also super anti pizza, says Riley, stoking a war in the chat. Stoking chaos. <laughs> that's, you don't like fruit? That's fair. I don't like your entire brand. <laughs> Riley against pizza. We need to cancel Riley. They're against pizza. <laughs> I, I wrote pizza when that's all right. Sure, sure you did. Sure you did. Hmm. You know what they say. First message is always the truth, and the second messages are just covering it up. That's why I am well known for my my feelings of being like, hey, and and keyboard. You know, those are those are the speakings of my soul. <laughs> Banuni is unlike any other fruit. I corrected myself. I'm so eepy. That's true. That's true. I'm eepy too. Yeah, banana is a very different texture to like literally any other fruit out there, especially if you can like freeze it and it becomes ice cream. And sometimes it's mush and sometimes it's hard. Banana is very variable. <laughs> also, pizza, have you seen the autism meme about how with autistic folks, fruit can be really difficult because like you get a blueberry and um, it could be sweet, it could be sour, it could be tart. The flavors are very variable. That, that, that is a legit problem with fruit for a lot of folks that might be neurodiverse. Um, so watch out for that in my trip here. Um, ways around that are... You can get some fruits that are engineered to be a bit more consistent, like branded apples, like um, jazz apples are fairly consistent in their flavour, or pink lady apples, they're fairly consistent in their flavour and, and ripeness, as long as you kind of get a good condition packet. Candy floss grapes are really consistent in their flavour because they've been genetically modified to taste like candy floss, and they're delicious, honestly. Bananas aren't even the best source of potassium. What is? I need I need to get more potassium. Banana is very bad, but not indicated with fruit as a, whole, as a whole. Yeah, chat, if you have any suggestions of like consistent fruit, do let me know. Um, Sun-dried raisins I find very consistent. There's a little bit of textural variety, variety in them, but if you get the nice sun-made ones, they're generally pretty consistent. Oh, red delicious apples, yeah. 
I don't know, can you get those in the UK? I need to check because the UK is weird and we don't have a lot of the nice, nicer American Apple brands. Um, let me see. And that's an Iowan brand, so let me check if, they, if you can actually get those in the UK. Uh, Marks and Spencers, yeah, I suppose. I mean, hey, yeah, they do seem relatively available in the UK, that's good. Oh, that sounds so good, crunchy and crispy. Yeah, that's the interesting thing about apples, they can vary a lot. Like, um, the green ones I find a lot less kind of crunchy than the red ones. And the green ones generally have a much milder flavour. You can also try cooking them in different ways, like caramelising pears is so different from actual pears. And apple pie is so different from apples. When you say jazz apples, I immediately thought of an apple playing a saxophone. Yes! Red Delicious has been rated 25. What does that mean? I'm so confused, Cal. Bestie, explain. 25 out of 100? 25 out of 50? 25 out of 25? 25 on the poison scale? 25 on the carcinogen list? It could be so many things, bestie. I posted a link and you ignored me. Oh, Apple rankings. To be fair, I feel like it's a pretty good instinct for me to ignore links in the chat. I feel like for once my brain was out for me. Oh, it's like, oh, it's a, it's a, oh, it's a tier list of apples. Okay, let me, I need to put this up on stream. Because that sounds fun. And you know what? Hades can wait. We've got apples to tear. Okay, okay, okay. Apples to tear. From your own mod. Yes, I'm sorry I got distracted by one of our mods being Pregananat. That's my excuse for everything now. Like, oh, 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 I, I, I messed up. Well, well, one of our mods is Pregananat, so there. <laughs> oh, pizza. It's. I mean, if you need to leave the stream, you do that. <laughs> there, there, Cal. We all love you. That's true. We do. We do. Let's have a look at the Apple rankings. I have to know. Can I... Can I do this? Ah! So Sweet Tango is apparently the Holy Grail. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Never heard of that, but it sounds interesting. Honeycrisp, I have heard of. I feel like Honeycrisp might be hard to get in the UK, though. I feel like I've, I've heard of it, but mostly from Americans, and I've never been able to find it. They look very available in the UK. I say judging them entirely by their skin, which is not how one should judge availability of things in the UK. <laughs> Your skin looks available. He's Pagante. Oh, Pink Lady's fairly similar, but you can't really get Honeycrisp here. Okay, good to know. According to Reddit, which would never let me down. Kanzi, Snapdragon, a chomp-worthy newcomer. Oh, Kanzi, the European party apple. <laughs> the European party apple. Um, have I heard of Fuji? I feel like I have. But I also read a lot of Chuck Wendig's blogs and he talks about apples a lot. Envy apples, a guilty pleasure. Never heard of those. Pink Lady! Hell yeah! We've got Pink Lady in the UK. A fiery troublemaker. Lucy Glow Apples, the breathtaking circus freak. Are these made up? 85 excellent. I know they're not made up, but honestly, if I didn't know shit about apples, I would be confused right now. Also, I like how their slogan is, you've been eating trash. Opal Apples, a taste... I'm not going to read that on the stream. This... Are these just becoming fake as we go? The Honey Grenade. Rave Apples, the knockoff brand Honeycrisp. I think Rave might be available in the UK. I'm, I'm so confused. Average Apple, Cosmic Crisp. Brayburn apples. Oh, I think you can get Brayburn in the UK, or maybe I'm just confused because Brayburn's a place here. King David? Who the heck's King David? The tart of our Arkansas. I almost had to had to stop myself there from being British and being like Arkansas. No, Arkansas. <laughs> couldn't do that. I couldn't give I couldn't hurt her, give that kind of psychic damage to the Americans on the stream. Pink Pearl, the red scare that those both sound evil. Where are these bios that Cal mentioned? Gala! We can get Gala in the UK. 
Okay, you can click it for full reviews. Pink lady's lo lo Pink lady's lovely brother, ugly brother. I'm not sure how well the bios will work because this is a kind of um, embedded page on OBS. Wow. Bad apples. <laughs> Ryan Frange. Granny Smith. Oh, I know her. I know Granny Smith. Emotional damage. <laughs> the Tart of Arkansas was my high school nickname. <laughs> That's a good nickname. Can I go back? About. I want to know the story. Oh, Brian Frange is the writer. He's been writing about apples for years. He started a Tumblr apple review blog called The Appleist. Amazing. This is now his full-time job and he makes 700 blah, 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 per week providing apple advice for wealthy fruit enthusiasts. He's not in the pocket of Big Apple. All his reviews are inarguably accurate and not corrupt by corporate influence. This is amazing. I love, I love this fellow. This is my new favourite person. I can't believe we're ending the new year with all this apple knowledge. Twitch Mobile is insisting the stream is over and not letting me watch anymore. Twitch Mobile really said, no fun for you. $700 billion to think about apples. Honestly, it would not surprise me as, as, as an apple expert. You know? Him, not me. I'm not an apple expert. Red delicious apple. It's even got all their ratings on. It's like a Rotten Tomatoes, but for apples. You gotta imagine there's some people in apple or orchards wearing these and feeling very proud of themselves. <laughs> Granny Smith, the original sour apple. That's a good. That's a good summary. They're very sour. Okay, okay. I'll stop learning about apples right now. But that was amazing. That was amazing. Also, also, I figured I should do some accountability stuff in the new year, which I'm considering now. I'm cheating, and start telling you guys about my goals for the new year. So, what are your goals? I know, like, goals are kind of fake, and part of me being more restful and kind to myself is not worrying about my goals too much, but I still have some goals because I need a sense of direction or I'll get very lost, you know? Like, it's nice to, like, every time I go out in the woods I get lost, so I should probably not do that with my, my plans, you know? I feel like that's important. Account of time, yeah! Cat accountability, exactly, exactly. I was gonna put it on screen, but I'm scared if I do that, I'll find a way to dox myself, so I'm not gonna do that. But, okay, so little things I did before this stream is we got the sounds working, because Zara was asking a lot for, for the Hong Kong and that to be back, so we got the Hong Kong back. This is under my, my goal for the new year, which is just maintain a steady stream schedule and stop the stream from like being shitty. That's my general goal. Spend one day on the grind set. I avoid getting lost in the woods by not going out in the woods. Couldn't be me, I love the woods. I say, struggling to leave the house these days. And um, we recorded the New Year's short, which will go out at midnight and is less rambly than this one, I promise. Updated my touch portal layout so the buttons are bigger. And I updated the key bindings for my toggle so there should be less of me randomly changing my expression while typing things. Ooh, high tech, I know, I know, impressive. Um, we fixed some of the- Oh, I fixed the touch portal sound effects! Yeah! Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I, I can do my own sound effects now. It's very impressive, right, right? Thank you, thank you, I appreciate that. Very kind of y'all. Cheers. <laughs> I had to restart my whole phone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Riley. Bruh. <laughs> that's, that's shocking. The entire world is celebrating for me tonight. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> God damn. So we got our sound effects back. We've got the honk honk back. Um, I removed the auto start routine on my OBS to make it run a little quicker and crash less. It's still crashing though on the regular, but we're getting closer to a fix. That's an ongoing goal is to try and stop OBS crashing on me. Remove some plugins I don't use. 
um, and took away the item flood, which was the emote flood we had, because it's just not fitting, it's not passing the vibe check right now, so it was like, I think I'm going to put that away for just now. That has been quietly retired and definitely not taken out of the back and shot. Oh, and I changed from Christmas layout to normal layout. Yee, yee. Oh, and I got my little, my little head bopper. My little diadem. That was provided by somebody whose name I took a note of. Army Art. They provided the bopper. Um, and it's very cute. And it's animated and it's free. It's a live 2D one and it's got like a little animation. Moderator Dave kindly gave me a static one, but this one bops. It bops. Woo! It's amazing. Katie hates, what did I do now? What did I do now? Katie hates what? I don't hate. No hate. Some hate. Sometimes hate. A little bit of hate. But no hate for anyone in chat. <laughs> Spend one day in the grass to be a streamer. Oh yeah, I should actually talk about my bigger goals because those are all my small little goals that I wrapped up before stream, which is cheating. Honestly. Um, but my January. So what I do sometimes to try and help my brain is I do the six week year, which is I think of each each week as a month because that sometimes helps me deal with the concept of time. So even though we're about to go into the first week of January, in my head it's also like the entirety of January. Uh, so I'm trying to limit my goals that way. <laughs> so sometimes seeing a week as an entire month helps my brain and sometimes it doesn't and it's all just wishful thinking. But you know. Hates my most flooding the stream. No, I love them. I love little Cal lying on the egg. And I, I want to um, get, I need to look into stream elements for a tool that will do that. But without all the other emotes coming in. Like, I like chat emotes. I just don't care for all the like fruit in that. Oh god, oh god, time going too fast, time going too fast. Yeah, but the thing is, if I tell myself a week is a month, then it helps with the fact that time is horrible and keeps moving too fast. So at least if it's going to go horrendously super fast, I can almost be realistic about my predictions because I'm like, that's no time at all. That's, I, I'll, I'll finish I'll finish my work week and then I'll have like no spare time to do anything and that's terrifying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel that. I feel that sound alert. So, you know, sometimes the six week with mum helps. Sometimes it doesn't. We'll see. But right now we're trying it. Um, but yeah, week one, which is the January of this year, um, so the overall theme of the year is I'm going to do planning. So the first six weeks of this year are going to be about planning. And so I want to build a YouTube VOD buffer. I want to try and post a video every single Saturday on YouTube. I'm going to build up a buffer until we have 52 videos. And once I hit that point, I can look into maybe posting more regularly. But only then, only then may I rest. <laughs> Um, and build a TikTok buffer. Moderator Dave is actually working super hard on that one already and already has a nice buffer lined up. So we're doing good. We're doing good. Um, and I don't release a song cover. That's not going to be in next week though, or likely in January at all. It's going to take some time. That's a long term goal. Yes, yeah, Saturday YouTubes, exactly. And I mentioned in the last stream I want to do a rubber keychain just because I like the tactile feeling. So I'm going to do a rubber key. Katie keychain. Um, again, that'll be a long-term goal because it'll take some time to get it mocked up and produced. Damn, I should just post on Saturdays. <laughs> Cal, your YouTubing is super impressive. You're iconic. I always appreciate your YouTube schedule and live in shame of mine. Pizza says another one of my goals is to make more videos for my YouTube channel. Hell yeah, Pizza! Let's do it together. And of course, on stream to play the coffin of Andy and Laylee. We're going to be problematic together, kittens. We're going to get cancelled in 2024. Honestly, that could be a sub goal. I would be amused by that. If we get cancelled, then then we get all the followers, right? That's how it works, right? Right? Get cancelled. What should we get cancelled for? Get cancelled for showing tummy. Aha! Aha! Cancel me! Cancel me! Katie, problem problematic era. Let's, let's be real. My era has always been a problematic one. <laughs> I exist in a problematic age. I'm just also a nice person. You can be problematic and a nice person. 
Though am I a nice person if I call myself that? Ooh, the jury's out. We need a video essay to explore that. <laughs> Twitter tells me everyone gets super popular if they get cancelled. Yeah, I feel like if I can get banned on Twitch, hell yeah, success. Cancelled for tummy raspberries, hell yeah. Um, my writing goals, because yeah, I'm going to be talking a bit more about writing in the, in this new year, is I need to finish my giant robots book and everything else can wait until that book is done. One goal at a time, no juggling multiple projects. We'll see. I'll maybe give it um, an actual month, maybe give it four weeks, and then if I'm still struggling, maybe I should go back to doing multiple projects and just accept that my brain is a whirlwind and trying to focus on one thing at a time doesn't work for me. We'll see. We'll see. We'll try it. And my fun goals are I want to get back into Beat Saber because I miss it. I miss playing Beat Saber. And I'm currently hyper focused on Pokemon. So I'm working on a final form deck. So a de uh, Pokedex of all the final forms. And my first goal is to catch the original 150. So I'm playing Let's Go Pikachu right now. And also playing Sword and Shield and trying to get to the point where I can do the fancy raids. But oh my god, that's taking forever. That's taking so long. <laughs> And I have to remember all the buttons in it. I like Let's Go Pikachu because it's, it's like we only have like five buttons. But Sword and Shield is like, I hope you remember how to get to your way markers. And I hope you remember all the things. I was about to ask which game. Let's Go Pikachu and Sword and Shield are um, what I'm playing at the moment. Um, which should get me most of the way for the final form decks, honestly. But I've also... Oh, sorry. I, I'm saying Sword and Shield. I mean Violet. I mean Violet. If you ever need someone for Dynamax Adventures, hit me up. Hell yeah! I don't really know what co-op achieves, honestly. I don't know much about co-op. I tried doing co-op Let's Go Pikachu with, with Moderator Dave. And, like, it's fun for me. It's not very captivating for player two. Yeah, Violet's the one I'm doing, Obake. Um, Sword, I'm mostly done. I just need to do the DLC. Sorry, then don't hit me up. I'll, I'll, I'll maybe hit you up for the DLC. I don't really remember what co does in those games. I don't have any of the Violet DLC. I'm still on the base game of Violet, but if I can get to the end game of that and keep up with the current raids, that would be good because I heard they were doing like Walking Leaves and um, Iron Wake or whatever, and I think I've missed that now. I, I miss all the raids forever. I mean, you could hit me up for Terror Raids. Oh, that would be good because honestly, I die every time. <laughs> Terror raids just absolutely kick my arse. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the end game so I can have a decently built Pokemon for it, but right now I'm just getting wiped out. Scarlet and Violet, you can co-op your entire game. I forgot that was a feature. I totally forgot that was a thing. It actually looked really cool, but then I forgot <laughs> that it existed as a feature. So yeah, that's my goals. Build a YouTube buffer and build a TikTok buffer. Stream as usual. Try and keep the quality good. Hopefully no more tech glitches. And uh, keep on writing the giant robots book. We'll be playing Coffin of Andy and Laylee in the new year. That'll be exciting. And some bigger projects for later on in the year is the song cover and the rubber keychain. And general fun goals are Beat Saber, Beat Saber, Beat Saber. And catching them all. Catching them all the Pokemon. I got the DLC for like £18. Pound. Ooh. I saw it for fairly cheap recently. But, you know, um, it might be fairly cheap for me right now. I don't know. I, I haven't checked the, um, the the prices in the part of the world where I definitely live. Don't question me, Nintendo. But yeah, the DLC's been looking really good. Really tempting. Hey, kittens. Thanks for watching. To help support the channel and fight the algorithm, please like and subscribe or check out another video like this one. I also have a second channel where you can relax with more lightly edited content. It's basically a place where I can worry less about getting the videos perfect. I'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>